Lonnie and I were having dinner with a couple just a, a couple months ago. We went out to dinner. We hadn't seen them for a while, but it's a couple I knew. I actually had done their premarital counseling years and years ago. And we were sitting there just enjoying dinner, and all of a sudden the wife looked at me and just said, you know, there was a piece of advice you gave us when we were going through premarital counseling that I think had I not followed, I would have had an affair, and I wouldn't be sitting here today happily married. I said, really? You know, I'll give you the advice, but let me give you kind of the the principle behind it first. Here's the principle. All of us are attracted to certain people. We can't always explain that. If you look back in dating relationships, a lot of times you dated this similar person. Maybe, maybe the same height. Maybe the same hair color. Maybe the same eye color. Maybe there's something else. But, but we all have just certain people we're attracted to. We can't explain it. Also, we have certain people we aren't attracted to, right? I mean, ladies, I'm sure someone has asked you for a date before and you said, no, thank you. There just wasn't an attraction there, right? Guys, I'm sure you've seen some ladies and you knew that they'd probably go out with you, but there, was, there just wasn't a spark. There wasn't an attraction. There's a certain people we have a spark with and we can't totally explain. And with those people, we have to be very, very careful because we enjoy their company. They usually enjoy our company, which raises the opportunity for something to happen. And here's the advice I gave them. I told them that principle. And I say, here's what you have to do. You really want to have a great marriage, right? You really want to protect your marriage. So here's what you have to do. If you ever come across somebody and there's just a spark, there's just something there that there's a spark, you have to tell your spouse, hey, that person, something about them, it just clicks. Now, they would look at me, are you crazy? I mean, they would kill me. No, the moment you say it, I can say what's going to happen. One, it's going to be different. You'll, you'll notice that. But the second thing that's going to happen is that spouse is going to always know where that person is. And I promise you, you're not going to be going to dinners together and doing all this stuff. It will protect you. Well, here's what had happened. That couple had went on a, a beach retreat with another couple just to be together, just to hang out. They were friends. And she started finding that there was a click. There was something connecting between her and her friend's spouse. He was just, she was attracted to him. He was just sweet. He was winsome. There was just a lot of stuff there, and she just found herself drawn to him, wanted to be with him. Now, they got away from the treat, but her mind kept thinking about him and thinking about, man, you know, I enjoyed that. We, we have to be together again. But she realized that it hit her, I've got to tell my husband that. If I don't, I could be setting myself up. And, and she was struggling with it. It was finally like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning when she woke her husband up and said, I've got to talk to you. Now, I don't know about it, guys, but how would you do woken up 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning saying, i got to talk to you? Then hear your wife say, i got an emotional attachment to that person. Now, I can tell you it wasn't a good rest of the night, all right? It wasn't a good time. But what happened? She said, the moment I said that, it was like all of a sudden that, that attachment broke. It's like all of a sudden I thought, wow, what am I doing? And when I told him, guess what? We took no more of the couple retreats together. There was no more of us always hanging out because there was understanding. But she says, I can say just I was changed. And she th says, I think if I would have continued, I think if I would have not taken that step, we would have continued as couples. And you know what? I think I would have opened an emotional bank with him. He would have probably opened it with me. And she was just honest. She goes, I don't know if we'd be married today. 